Oh, there's fighting going on over there. Ew. There's a lot of ancient wrecks out here. Must have been a huge battle. Give them some. I ones. I gave everything that had to the Pharaoh's war. To buy Zero Dawn time. We will not go to the Outlands! Could not tell who I was supposed to be fighting there. Potion recipe discovered. I'll stash this away for later. Okay. An old world ruin. I wonder what's inside. Something that I'm going to go and find. New relic ruin. Level 10. What level are we? 11. Hello. Jelda. If it isn't the hero of the day. Sure, I'm glad you came by when you did. Are you all Delvers? We've been working No Man's Land for a while. I was hoping to get back to Baron Light by the time they opened the gates, you know, after that embassy of theirs. But... Seeing as how we almost got missed <laughs> to pieces just now, I'm guessing things didn't go so well. Nope. You could say that. Understatement of the it's year. It's not like No Man's Land was safe to begin with. But I didn't think I'd have to worry about the Sanak, the neutral territory. And now, they're riding machines. Right, so... If you were headed back to Baron Light, why did you stop here? We ran across some ruins nearby. Thought we'd take a gander, find some good salvage. But the place is full of weird red crystals. Oh? Can't get through the stuff. So we ended up making camp here. First thing tomorrow, though, we head straight to Baron Light. Good plan. Should probably send a message to our crew down at Jagged Deep about all this, too. Jagged Deep? It's a dig site by this big lake down south. Old world scrap everywhere. Can't miss it. We like scrap. And that's my cue. Here. Thanks. Thanks for helping us out. Maybe I'll get into more trouble and see you around. <laughs> well, let's hope not. <laughs> Everybody wants a piece of us. Uh, right. So we have got... An old world. Okay. Let's see what we can find around here. Ruin. Right. First things first. We can pull that off there. Up. There's also a crate there, which probably this crate might be useful. Yeah, we'll work this close. Probably can be pulled over here. I'm still not quite sure about how the range on this thing works. <laughs> Not quite. I assume this rubble is here to stop this crate being taken further. There we go. No, no wood. Ah. That hasn't actually helped us. <laughs> that being said... <laughs> Scavenger scrap pile. Ah! Of this stuff. Red crystals growing on the wall. I don't think there's anything I can do about them. Nope, not yet. Mm, something in there. 
Well, without a way to get through those gold crystals, there's not much I can do. I better move on for now. No, Aloy, we're going to pick up the stuff. Greenshine is very valuable. Nope. I like the fact that a lot of these little supply chests have got... There's a crate up there. Okay, let's get this crate out of there. Yeah, we're not going to be able to pull it through those vines. We need to get rid of... Do you know, we're not going to be able to get rid of it. It's It was the flower thing that I thought was going to get rid of the vines, wasn't it? There's some kind of relic in there. But how to reach it... Huh. There's loads of stuff in here. Yeah, I don't think. No, I don't think we're going to be able to, to do anything with this one just yet. Oh. All right. I'm in. Alternatively, falling into the ceiling. It looks like this thing needs power. <laughs> Battery. Interesting. Uh, VIP key. 2204. This could help. Okie dokie then. There's some kind of device here. Yoink. Oh, I love just being able to collect things and it not going, your inventory is full all the time. That is probably the best change that they've made so far. Oh, can we? Oh, this is where we... Yes. This is where we came through. Right, we can climb up there. Nope. Well, I'm not getting up there that easily. I gotta find something that can... Find. Uh... Right, there was a chest over there. A chest. A... A what six? Crate is the word that I'm looking for. Uh, but we're not going to be able to... I don't know <laughs> if we're supposed to be able to do that. There's been a few moments where it's just been like, uh, yeah, go on then. Some kind of lock for the door. Looks it like needs it needs power. power. Right, so we need to find a battery. Okay. Functional power station capable of recharging power sources. Uh, 
Right, we can put this over here so we can get back up there easier. I assume that's what I wanted this for. Okay. So far, so good. There's a handy hold point there. I like these things. They're, they're I mean, it could well be that I don't have what I need to be able to actually make all the progress here. I suspect we're probably going to get stuck. Pigeon. Requires a charged energy cell. Secure door. Secure door. Uh, I should probably leave this alone for now. Yeah, I, I think without... access to the actual power cell which my brain suspects is probably behind one of the anomalous growths Oh man, I see what they mean about the sight of a war. Jesus. This place is a, well, I was going to say a battlefield, but duh, obviously. Signal from my focus. That sound. The tall night must be close by. Overriding it should give me data on the surrounding area. Yep. In case you didn't play the first game, that's the tall neck. Uh ooh. Looks like a satellite dish. If I can climb it, I should be able to reach that tall neck easily enough. However, huh? Well done, me. I used the rock. Oh, hello! That serves me right, doesn't it? Goat! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that must seem so heartless. Goat! Shoot in the face. Um. What is that? A power generator? What is what? Oh, this. Uh, the Western Grand Array proudly presents the Eyes of the Heavens exhibits. Getting ready for the 2059. Need those bits. There has to be a way up this thing. But probably, I would, I would take a guess that this ladder can, uh, can help. Look 
console. No power though. Whoa! Woo! Uh. Is there anything to jump to? No. So that's not going to help. Uh, oh, clipping through those ladders is a bit of an issue. I can't climb any higher, but looks like this thing can. Well, that was crap. <laughs> Music is math. Rotate. If I can figure out a way to turn the power back on, I might be able to move things around and clean my way up. Okay. Not over there. Right. This. Ah ha ha! Power cell. Disconnected from the main power line. This should get that generator below the dish going. Oof. Okay, so we uh we have to physically this carry these. Power at some point. It's dead now. Whomp. Power's back. I should check that console I found earlier. Okay. Through my stash when I need it. So these are way more kind of climbingy puzzles than just jump onto a high place. Let's see what this thing does. Um. Uh, ooh. Uh, I assume it'll it'll just. Incomplete. Something's in the way. Okay. Shear is jammed. I'm still not high enough to reach the tarmac. I untangled the fish. Let me climb higher. Nice. That was just a guess, actually. Um, yes, okay, big bright blue sparks were eye-catching. Which certainly helped. Uh. I should be able to get to that tall neck now. Just gotta find the right spot. Looks like I might need to glide onto the tall neck. Oh. Time it right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Timing me. Shit. That must be plain song. The Utaro tribe's home. Built on top of old satellite dishes. There we go. Oh Time wow. The big guy. <laughs> I always love this. Data to other machines, and now it's mine. First tall neck overridden. Woohoo! They also stun everything around it for a little while. Oh, let's not get trodden on by the tall neck. Well, that was cool. So a little bit more to it than previously. But, oh, <laughs> so you wanted some things to do, did you, Damogen? How about some open world stuff? So, yes, there are other things that I could do, but 
cauldron. A cauldron. If I can reach its core, I should get enough data to override some new machines. Ah. You are five or more levels beneath the recommended level for this cauldron. Those legs were built for leaping. And Yoink. Uh, hmm. So the cauldron is recommended, well, level 17 or above. But it could make our lives a lot easier. Right. Hi, cauldron. What was this called? Cauldron Moo. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Turning back once I'm inside. These ledges look like they'll hold up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the the cauldrons were probably my favorite things in Zero Dawn. I just love the aesthetic, the design of them. I'm intrigued as to if and what they have changed. You're about to enter a cauldron and won't be able to exit until you complete it. Oh, it could possibly go wrong. Down it is. Table seems sturdy enough. Oh. Uh, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh. Oh. Here we go again. my way to the core. I could use fire against it. Okay. Damaging steam vents will create stealth areas. Yeah, I remember this. A shield. I'll have to find a different path. The lighting's really nice. Okay. Out of there. Um, don't want to go down there. You saw nothing. Sneaky. As we said, doing this at least five levels below what we should be. I should be so. able to get across if I have that node near the gap. It's fine. I, I, I like this kind of channel. Channel? Challenge. I'm just really bad at the combat. As I said, if I wanted to play something Monster Hunter-y, I'd, uh, I'd play Monster Hunter. Like I have been. I thought I saw something weirdly reflected on the on the green screen. Um, don't know. Take the medicine. Uh, no room on me. I can send it to my stash. Only 141 berries in the stash. I think we're probably good for the game. Itchy ear, <laughs> just randomly. Ah, oh, the quick pulse thing is so useful. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, this is all very, very similar to how it was done in Zero Dawn. And I am fine with that. Because when something is done well, you don't want them to fundamentally change. Oops. You don't want them to fundamentally change how it works. For a sequel you want it to be more of what you enjoyed with maybe some tweaks all right what have we got in here more machines Azadam will make this go quick gotta catch a right on those to get across if i don't get shot at by those machines uh i wonder if there's multiple pathways No, that's not what I wanted to do. That'll work, though. Right, so... Hey, that's cheating, running behind the energy barrier. Oh. Ooh, there might be some stuff up there. I have to get past the shield. Nope. Damn it. Sweet. Okay, I have all those bits. Now, what is over here? Is it just going to be medicine? So I could see the, medic me the medicinal plant at the top. Or is there going to be thingy containers? There is going to be a thingy container. I can get it for my stash later. Best change in the game. Right. Override. Now. Everything's being moved to the back of this corridor. That has to be the core. Ah, oh, the background details are always so cool in these. Right, we can go that way. Uh... Fractured panel. We can he get down there. No, there is actually an invisible wall there. So if we're going to go over, we need to be smarter about it.
And do you know me? I always try and take the smart route. Should be able to climb these vents if I time it right. Timed right, I guess. Doesn't explain how I'm going to get over there. I'm sure there will be people that are saying, oh, they've just reused the assets from the first game. It's like, uh, what? What? Uh, well, clearly I'm dying here because randomly I just dropped off. Huh. That was annoying. Where's it going to put me back? Everything's being moved to the back of this corridor. Here. That has to be the core. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened then. <laughs> oh. Yes, I was I was having a thing about uh, reused assets, wasn't I? Oh, it's because it's a vent. I think it must have uh, blasted hot air at us. That's probably what caused us to fall off. Less of a bug, more of a feature. Wow, this place is... It's more cramped. Than some of the ones we've seen in the past. But is this gonna... Felt that was gonna like that was gonna do something behind us, but Gage not. Hmm. Maybe I can use that arm to get across. <laughs> yeah, that strikes me as plausible. Oh hi. Time to fight. Hey, that homes. Suck it. Oh, was there anything behind where that came in? No, just a little compartment. Worth a check. Right, so we're going to have a go. Jumping onto that arm should be easy enough. Jump off at the right time. Uh, right, we could go that way, I think. Maybe. Get up this way. Yeah. There we go. But there was also... A 
a second arm. Maybe just part of the background? Don't know. Machines past that shield. I have to be careful. I'm always careful. Find this in my stash later. Sneaky. I see a shell walker. It's got its oh oh! I'm stuck behind its shield. Ouch! Uh, mm. That in the ankle. Ah, <sighs> Shellwalker. Yes, I'd forgot about their big AOE thing. To be fair, it's been twelve months hide me for a while. since I played Zero Dawn, so I'm allowed to be forgetful and bad. <laughs> And open. Stuff. I think I'm going the right way. No, not going the right way. Could have gone this way before. Those metal carriers go so closer to the core. But how do I reach them? Good question. Probably up this ramp? Add a guess. Up here. Not through there. Up here. Ugh. The tentacle bridge is, is still kind of icky. Could try getting to that arm below. Oh. Uh, to the vents. Vents. I can make that jump. She enjoys this a little bit too much. I should be able to hitch a ride on those metal carriers from here. Oh, I need to press jump. That would help. Gotcha. I love how it kind of messes around with their their balance now. Where are we going to? I made it this far. Just have to hold on a little longer. Over to this side? Yeah, because we can't get through that barrier there. 
I'm gonna have to get off this thing soon. Whee! Okay. Those arms can help me reach the core. I just have to get to them. Uh huh. Some valuables. Get this from my stash when I need it. Oh man. It's very matrixy, isn't it? Okay. No, not this way. This way. I'm guessing over here? There's a lot of guesswork involved in navigating these places. We're going to drop onto that, are we? Made it. One more to go. Right, we're still going over that way. Oh. We are very close to a lot of electricity. I assume I'm going the right way here, but in all honesty, I don't know. Um. Those metal carriers should get me to the core. Ah, okay. So I need to be in the right position and then lined up for a jump aha we're going over there are we I need to get those machine overrides Yep. Woo. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. I'm assuming there's going to be a, a, a new boss animal or something at the end. Because otherwise it wouldn't really need a level requirement, would it? And what level actually it does require? I've never seen machines stored like that. It's deactivated for now. An ammo that deals purge water damage is now available in your inventory. Use your focus to scan enemies and see if they are weak to purge water. Hitting them with purge water will build up the drench states. Elemental attacks are disabled. They become more vulnerable to frost and shock. Okay. Oh, well, we've made it to the end. Uh, right. Let's have that on. Uh... But we don't actually have anything that can... don't actually have anything that can use it. 
There's the core. Now I just need to access it. What is this? A wide moor. It's a hippo. Weak versus water, strong versus basically everything else. Tusks, key upgrade resource. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's. Oh, we've got a purge water trap. Oh, we can craft them as well. Okay. Let's put one here. Oh, it destroys our tripwires. Ah, oh, that's not useful. That's not useful at all. Uh Well, I guess we're going to fight a giant hippo thing. What could go wrong? We're on easy. So it's going to drop the hippo. Guess I'm not getting those overrides without a fight. Take. Right, that said it was vulnerable. Oh, he's got two of them. Whoa! No. Oh, it can suck us in! No. Oh no, into my own trap. That's embarrassing. Right, one down. And that got us a level up. Nope. Gonna knock some bits off. Okay, new plan. New plan. I should be able to access the core now. Nice. This should help me override machines out in the wild. Woo. Wide more. 
So yeah, they're essentially hippos. You have you have a new weapon modifications. I'm aware. There definitely seems to be more of a almost a rock paper scissors style thing going on here. Especially with this whole canister kill thing going on. Of course, the more complex. Override unlocked Boa. Scrounger. Grazer. Scrapper. Wide more. We've seen most of those. Eight KXP. Don't mind if I do. With the data I got from that core, I should be able to overhead this machine. Uh -huh. Should be able to override scroungers now. Yes. Let's just check this, shall we? Now everyone's on the same side. At least for a while. Clonk. Oh, that did not last all that long. Oh, dear. Oh, and I'm really short on ammo. Ow. Our first cauldron completes. Now, does it tell us in level 10 is where we're up to? Level camps, toilets, cauldrons. Oh, level 18. So we did a little bit early. Probably could have checked that earlier, couldn't I? That was cool. That was exactly what I want. It was exactly what I expected from a cauldron, and it was exactly what I wanted from a cauldron. And, you know, as I said, I think, earlier on, if something works in a game, and the game gets a sequel, you don't want them to try and reinvent the wheel for the sequel. You want more of what works, just expanded and uh, that's exactly what we got with that it was just what I expected and uh, I got what I want what have we got over here more more block paths it's going to be interesting to see what actually it is that unlocks those for us some kind of outpost with pens that might be where Regal is keeping our machines I need to find a way to get in there I could scan the area to see what I'm up against and tag any rebels or machines in my focus to keep track of them That's more like it. Right, Rebel Soldier. 
Noble Soldier. Noble Charger. Some supply caches. A new bow from that. Looks like there are a couple of weak points for the ropes attached to the bridge. Well, yes, I could shoot the ropes, couldn't I? That would have been a sensible there. idea. Bridge is down. Oh, to a cutscene. into a tunnel so the rebels were keeping bristlebacks here the machines fell into the tunnel which must have collapsed as they ran further in mm. what if Olvin's explosives created the sinkhole I should head back to chain scrape to let Javad know huh one more day behind me Don't know why I'm looking down here. Well, there's a generous valuables chest. And the tunnel's blocked. Yep, not going that way. <laughs> not going that way. Yeah, we, we need to make sure that we can get. No, how to get back out. As much cash and sellable stuff as we can. Oh, on the subject of getting stuff. Green shine. No idea where the vendor is for this. But, uh. Best grab as much of it as we can. What was that? Oh. Saw something pop up on the compass. Okay. So that is more intrigue, and I think that's the Bristlebacks quest sorted. Oh. Ah, uh, th this gives me a really kind of Terminator, the future of Terminator vibe with the, the scanning things and the lights everywhere in the darkness. It's really creepy. And nicely done. I've been spotted by something. Don't know what. I'm stuck in a tree. Hi. So, you've returned from the west. Any luck? Yes. The bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakh rebels on the other side of the mountains. Alvin's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the daunt. Right. Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the bristlebacks, it's Alvin. Shocking. Radiant beams of the sun. And all this time he was pointing the finger at us. <laughs> <clears throat> Bring Alvin here. Petra, too. <sighs> ah, dear. Something. 
summoned like a blasted ale winch. Oh, you best be meaning to put pen to parch. What? Why is she here? I live here too, lug nut. Mm. <laughs> so what's this about? <clears throat> Thanks to the savior, the sun has shown the truth on the Bristleback incursion. Tanakh rebels were keeping pens of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the daunt. So it was an accident. But let us not forget that it was the Karja. I'm not done. The sinkhole only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvent. You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the Bristlebacks caused, all of it. My dear magistrate, has your precious son baked your senses? I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> uh, evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. You skirted the laws of the Sundom Ulvent. All for a few extra shards. Greedy as ever. Greedy as and ever. You almost drowned your other miners and sent that oversized tool over there to intimidate a bunch of refugees. Oh, I wonder if this changes depending on which of the side quests you've done. I demand an official investigation. I won't be the victim of some Karja scheme. Certainly. We'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything. The bristlebacks, the mine, the refugees. Every business deal you ever put your name to. Well, that... That's not necessary, is it? <laughs> what if I just Fear. return to the claim? <laughs> oh, well, that would save the crown the cost. Of course. I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments, tie up some loose ends. After all, the welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like nope, this... No, you're leaving right now. Chainscrape will be just fine. <laughs> you think she can run this scorched out forge dump? Ha! Knock yourself out. Get out! Oh, don't want you! Don't need you! Don't want you! Uh, oops. <laughs> Get her off me. Mud looks good on you, Alvind. <sighs> well, he made some friends, didn't he? Shadow. Mm. Thank you for that, Aloy. Oh, he had it coming. <laughs> he certainly did. Please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity <laughs> a great service. <laughs> Oh, this is really well written. To discuss. Guess we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flame Hair. A ching. Nice. <sighs> okay. Chain scrape will be. Couple of skill points. Two point three k XP. Don't mind if I do. That was really enjoyable. It was nice to see Ulvand get his comeuppance because he desperately deserved that and that is going to be it for this episode full of side quests because this is an hour and a half's worth of recording and we've we got a lot of stuff done frankly we we checked out the new contracts quest we we took a look at a little rebel camp we did a tall neck and we did a cauldron and um yeah there's a lot of game left to go so obviously I'm going to be cutting down on side quest recording. We'll, we'll see how I get on. We'll see how I get on. Until next time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I, there was a lot of good stuff there. I really liked it. Until next time. Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.